What's up, YouTube? Welcome to episode 132 of Through the Mail Autographs. We like to get autographs through the mail. Baseball, football, basketball, celebrities, wrestling, all kinds of stuff. You know the spiel. We got this in the mail today, and we have, I don't know, 300 cards from eBay to show you, and we have two blind trades, so let's get to it. Three for three in 40 days. Clarence Childs. You can barely see it, but he did sign it, like, right here. If you hold it in the light just the right way, you can see it. There you go. Cool. Nice Philadelphia card signed. Two for two in 50 days. Jack Lazorko. 88 Fleer and an 88 score. Two for two in 60 days. Got Gonzo back again. What's funny is the ones I got back yesterday were 30 days old, and this is 60 days old. So, like I said, I sent to him a month later because I figured they got lost because he was signing within, like, a few weeks. And, like I said, for some reason I wasn't getting them back, so I just resent to him, and now I got two of them. Or two returns. Three for three in 50 days. Charles Hudson, 84 Donruss, 85 Tops, and an 87 Fleer. Three for three in 45 days. Frank Lindsay, 66 tops, 70 tops, and a 72, three, or 72 tops. I believe I need all of those. Four for four in 10 days. And it's Greg Landry, 81 tops, 72 tops. A USFL card and a 71 tops. I like that 71 tops. And these last ones I didn't have time to go through. I think I sent, I might have sent him four. One was, a, I think, a game day card, and he kept it and didn't sign one of them. So I'll have to find another game, game, game day card and send to him because I've been sending all the game day cards out with people that signed. So we got a 91 Fleer and a 90, I think, one Pacific. J.J. Burden. We got a Pacific card, a score card, and one of the game day cards. And a note. Here you go, J.J. Billy Ray Smith, Pacific card, a Pro Line card, 89 Pro Set, and an awesome game day card. I love these game day cards. Like I said, I'm trying to I send out like a hundred of them. Tom Waddle game day card. Index card. 91 Fleer. And I can't remember what year Pacific it is, maybe a 91 or 92. But those are super cool. Cool. What's his name? Lonnie Young? Yeah, Lonnie Young. Pro line card. Pacific. 91 Fleer. And a super nice game day card. <laughs> like I said, I love these game day cards. Check this out. The old wild card number five. That looks really cool with the, the blue five and the blue autograph and the blue up here. That looks awesome. And look at this. That looks awesome. Roger Craig... That's such a nice autograph. And I had to get him that rookie card signed. But four for four from Roger Craig. That is the last TTM we got today. Two, four, six, eight, ten. We got 12 returns today. Let's do the blind trades. We got one from Michael. Yet another blind trade. Please no 91 Fleer or football. Thank you. Let's see. Hopefully we didn't give him any 91 Fleer. He sent me this Reggie Harris, this 92 Scott Livingstone. Actually, I think I need both of those because I haven't sent those guys, I don't think. And Mike Eshied. 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 I've never sent to him, so I'm pretty sure I need that one. Uh, Mike Johnson, I'm pretty sure I need that one. And Mike Dial, I don't think I have this one either. So I think I need all five of those actually. And let's see what I was going to send him. I'm going to send him then this Don Hasselbeck. Tight end, we'll do that for Mike Johnson. Uh, we got a 73 day Foley. We'll do that, the 73 there. Uh, Mark Kelso, we'll do for the Dial. Eddie Zosky will do for the Livingstone, and Lee Gutterman will do for Reggie Harris. So 
hopefully I didn't give him any of the cards he didn't want. <laughs> I try to I try to help you guys out and, and and try not to give you what you don't want and try to give you what you can use if I if I can if I have any and can do it. So so that's the trade with Michael. Now we had a trade with Bill. Says, Hello Larry, here are a few for the blind trade. Hope you can use them, Bill. He sent some nice cards here. This is a nice one right here. I, I was always a big Bobby Bonilla fan. It's a Bobby Bonilla 87 Fleer. A Don Kessinger. I love these Pacific cards. I don't think I've ever sent to this guy before. Pete Breathhard or Breathhard or something. Breathard. This is a nice card here. Dennis Partee. I've never sent to him. I don't know who he is. Uh, Larry Little, Hall of Famer. Yeah, he sent some nice ones. Steve Atwater. He was one of my favorite players when I was growing up. And Rick Redman. I haven't sent to him yet, I don't think. I have some cards that I was going to send out to him. What was I going to send to him? I love these blind trades. If you guys want to send out a blind trade, you know, send up to seven cards and we'll do some trading. Uh, for Redman, we were going to do Ernie Coy. They're the same year. Uh, for Steve Atwater, I was going to do this nice Wonder Bread uh, Cliff Harris. I love those Wonder Bread cards. Uh, for Larry Little, I was going to do Tom Mack. For Dennis Partee, I was going to do Bo Scott. For Breathe Hard or Breathard or whatever his name is, we're going to do Greg Landry, 73. I didn't really have a matchup for 72, so we just did a 70 through 74. Uh, for the uh, Pacific card, I don't have any doubles of those, but I always love this Scott McGregor card. It's cool. So I thought we'd do that for that. And Bobby Bonilla, he's, they like said, a pretty decent player. And this guy here, I think, was a decent player too. And I think he charges $5 through the mail, but I have an extra one. Uh, Steve Garvey, 81 Fleer. I thought he could use that one. So hopefully, Bill, that hopefully that will do uh, good for you. Like I said, I appreciate you sending stuff in. I think I needed everything except for the Larry Little. I think I have that card, but I do think I need everything else. So, And I'm not sure if I've given you one of my cards yet, so I'm going to throw one of my cards in there for you too. But I appreciate it, guys. Stick around. I'll show you my eBay stuff. We picked this up on eBay for 5 bucks. It's Robin Roberts. We picked this lot up. I can't remember how much this lot was now. This lot might have been 20 or 25 bucks. It's like it's got Bob Oldis, Charlie Thompson, Hal Roach, Bob Ross, Elroy Face, Bill Verdon, Dick Grote, John O'Brien. That's probably O'Brien again. Bobby Chance, Bobby Chance, Dick Schofield, and Bob Oldis. I love these guys. This is an awesome set. I thought that was a great deal for 20 bucks. We bought another 300 count lot of cards. And what is awesome is I got this note. He says, uh, extras included. Keep up the good work. I'm enjoying the videos. Vince. So... <laughs> My supplier is watching my videos and he likes them. That's awesome, dude. I'm glad you enjoy it. Like I said, I work really hard trying to get these sets completed. I'm trying to get every set pretty much ever made. And, and dude, you're killing it. You're helping me out a, a bunch. Like, I've bought... I don't know how many cards I've bought from this guy. I would say this is the second 300-count box I bought in the past, like, week. And I've bought stuff off of them before. So I, I've probably bought... I don't know, almost a thousand cards from him probably since I've been buying cards. But uh, yeah, he said he, th he threw some extras, man. I think there was like somewhere between 40 and 60 extra cards. So I really do appreciate it, man. It's awesome. But uh, like, so we'll just go through. You guys, you guys know the drill. I'm not going to read them. We'll just, uh, we'll just kind of breeze through them and you guys can check them out. 
Yeah, I kind of I kind of breezed through them when I got them this morning, and yeah, there was some stuff. There was some cool stuff in here. You know, stuff I, some stuff I wasn't expecting. I mean, like stuff of people that you know don't sign their mail anymore and stuff. So, some stuff I really needed. I know the last lot that I bought from him a few days ago that you guys saw the video a couple days ago. Out of the two hundred, like I know Andretti doesn't sign his mail. Out of the 200 regular cards that I got, I needed 150 of them for my sets. So there was only 50 doubles for me. So that really works out for me. Because like I said, I only paid like 150 bucks or something for all those cards. And like I said, that means that works out for only like a buck a piece if, if I just pay for the ones that I need. And then I get, you know, the 50 of them for free. And like I said, that's what works so well for these blind trades. You know, I have these extra cards I can trade. And then, like I said, you guys send me cards that, that I need, which is awesome. Like I said, uh, Bill just sent me like six or seven, I think six cards I needed. And like I said, I think Mike just sent me like five cards I needed. So, you know, that was awesome. I love it when these blind trades work out. Hopefully, you know, they work out for you guys. Like I said, I, I love these blind trades. Because it's just like getting, you know, extra TTM. You know, you get extra things that, you know, in the mailbox to help you complete your collections and stuff. And like I said, I truly am, you know, working on every set. And if you've been watching my videos, you know how hard I've been working trying to get these sets together. You've seen like a couple of my binders. I have like 14 or 15 binders now. Just full of all these sets. You know, in team order. And like I said, I spend hours and hours and hours and hours every day. Just like, you know, I'll have to go home and put all this in my albums and stuff. It took me four hours, I think. Like last night or night before last when I put all those other ones away. I mean, it just takes forever to do this stuff. I would say I may have to speed this video up or something because I don't think we're going to get all this in 15 minutes or we may just not be able to show it all. But I just wanted to give you an idea how awesome Vince is and, and you know, the, the deals that he's given me. Like I said, I do appreciate it. Like I said, it's, it's freaking awesome that I can buy these, you know, 300 count lots of cards. And like I said, I think... I think after shipping and stuff, because the minor league cards are cheaper. That's the one reason I buy the minor league cards. Uh, because it's cheaper and it kind of makes it out to where I'm only paying $50 per hundred. So like I said, I get you know 300 cards for 150 bucks delivered. And like I said, you can't beat that. I mean, that's, that's a great deal. And like I said, it really helps me out a lot. I mean, I have, I have been building my sets so, so much from this. And what's cool is because I don't do a lot of the, you know, stuff past like 92 maybe. You know, like 93 I do, but like 94 and on, I don't do hardly anything. So when I buy the stuff he does, like when he considers like 90s lots, I need most of those 90s cards. I mean... Because I just don't do them because I, I didn't really like cards after about, you know, 95 or so. I quit opening packs back then after that. But here's some minor league stuff. I love the minor league stuff because, like I said, this is the era that I was chasing. I knew a lot of these guys and would see them live, you know, at games and get their autographs and stuff. But that's how I started collecting autographs is, like, you know, chasing them. At the minor league games and stuff. All right, guys, that's uh, that's the 350 cards I got. Uh, hopefully, you guys had a good time. Like I said, I, I like showing you guys, you know, my journey for this. Please like, please subscribe, please hit all that way we can see all my videos. Thanks, guys. Peace.